Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana. Today we're making roasted garlic mashed potatoes. This is a side dish that is creamy, buttery, smooth, impacting so much flavor. It is destined to be a crowd pleaser. How about we get started? All right, in a saucepan, we're gonna make this garlic infused oil that is just amazing. Add in 10 peeled garlic cloves. These are medium to large in size. And as they slowly roast, that garlic flavor is gonna mellow out. Also pour in one cup of olive oil. All right, now that we're ready, let's head over to the stove. Cook it over medium low to low heat until the garlic cloves are nice and tender and golden brown. It should take about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, if you feel the garlic is cooking way too fast, lower the heat. Let's cook those potatoes because they're not gonna cook by themselves. And I'm using four pounds of Yukon potatoes, which are my favorite for this, and just cut them into medium-sized pieces. And you wanna do it as uniform in size as possible. That way they cook evenly. Now, you do have the option to peel these, but I'm leaving that skin because of the extra fiber content. It has to be part of my diet but peel them if you like. Transfer them into a large pot. And I am excited about this because look, I love to use this type of potatoes because of the rich texture and light creaminess. And of course, we need to cover them completely with water. Season the water with salt and you wanna be generous. That water should taste like the ocean, if you've ever had ocean water. I can smell the roasted garlic and it smells marvelous. That's almost done, but meanwhile, let's place the pot over high heat and bring the water to a boil. All right, this is ready. Turn off the heat and remove the garlic from the oil. This is now boiling. Lower the heat to medium low and allow them to cook on a gentle simmer until they're fork tender. It'll take about 15 minutes. As we move on, I do wanna mention that the full printable recipe is going to be on villacocina.com. I'm also gonna leave you the link down below. All right, now measure out one and a half cups of whole milk. Great. Pour it into a saucepan. And to this, we're also gonna add four tablespoons of unsalted butter. That way we can adjust our own seasoning. This next step is very simple. You can add whichever type of herb you prefer. You can do rosemary, thyme, parsley, sage, whatever you like. And I'm gonna do three sprigs of thyme and one sprig of sage because I love that citrus and eucalyptus tones that it has. Place it over low heat and allow the butter to melt. Don't let this reach a simmer. If needed, lower the heat and just keep it warm until we need it. Those potatoes are done, let's check them. Yes, nice and tender. Remove from the stove and drain the water. I'll be using a special tool to mash these. That's why the skin needs to be removed. Do so carefully and I know it's an extra step, but I do like to use a potato riser to do the mashing because they turn out extra smooth and fluffy. Leaving the skin on won't allow them to pass through the tool. Having said that, you can also use a mixer or potato masher. Once you have passed all the potatoes through the riser, has the roasted garlic through the riser as well. If you're using a mixer or masher, mash the garlic in with the potatoes. Ooh, just make sure you get all of that garlic out. I'm just gonna give the skin a rough chop. That way we have little pieces all throughout the mashed potatoes. And add it into the bowl. 
This is such an easy recipe, but so delicious. It is amazing. Add in, remember that infused garlic oil? Add in four tablespoons. You're gonna have some oil left over and that is completely fine because you can use it for so many other recipes. It's delicious, even for scrambled eggs in the morning. I'm guilty, I have done it. All right, now let's strain that warm milk. Add in a quarter of a cup of sour cream. Season with salt to taste. I'll be adding two teaspoons of kosher salt. Adding enough salt is super important for an excellent end result. Finally, do some ground black pepper to taste. Now, we just have to mix until well combined. We're gonna get this smooth, creamy texture. I'm loving it. Ooh, this is ready and so am I. Let's plate it up. We transfer some into this beautiful dish. And by the way, if you want it looser, you can add a little bit more of that oil, warm up a little bit of more milk. Um, you could also add more sour cream until you get it to the right consistency. With a spoon, make a channel that starts at the bottom and takes you all the way to the top. Pour a generous amount of the garlic oil and let it run through the channel. In addition, you could also pour in some melted butter. We're getting greedy here. Finally, because a touch of color would make this pop incredibly, let's add some chopped chives. We are ready to taste. Oh, yes. this is so good. I love how that oil looks. It looks so good. It runs beautifully through the channel. And the chives, nice pop of color. I already dug in. <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead. I want some of that oil and also a piece of the potato skin. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This is so good. I mean, this is incredible. I love that roasted garlic flavor because it is delicate. It's not overpowering. So good. This is gonna be part of dinner. With some roasted chicken? Oh my goodness. Yes. Meaning you can make this any time of the week and especially now that the holidays are coming up you know this is gonna be on the menu. Oh yeah. It is time for us to eat. We're gonna have to say bye, but before we do so, I wanna invite you to follow me on all of my social media platforms. And also don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. All right, until the next one. Until the next one, everyone. <laughs> hey, want some? <laughs>